fans of virtual reality, welcome back to the Gamer Muscle YouTube channel. In this video, we're checking out a free to download demo called Aircar. And it's actually been quite a while since we uh, did some demo VR experiences. You'll remember back in sort of 2012 with the DK1 and the DK2 after that, you know, there, there was a ton of demos that would come out. There was this whole sort of demo scene, but we've kind of moved away from that as VR's matured and we've now gravitated towards actual actual games rather than just demos but to buck the trend of 2017's vr we've got giant form putting out this rather superb air car demo now you can see that uh, it's basically a slightly inspired by uh, blade runner futuristic city with you piloting a uh, a i was gonna say plane it's more sort of a a hover car a anti-gravity car around that city rather nicely it's not on rails you actually have full control of your hover car and they've done a, a really nice job of the physics with it actually having a nice bit of movement mass and speed to it so it's just really from whizzing between the buildings but outside of the driving you can't really help but not notice just the sheer quality in the in the graphics in this and how impactful and how immersive it is as a vr experience starting off with the actual cockpit of the car that you're in the fact that it's raining outside and you've got raindrops that are moving on the on the uh, window panes not only makes me feel like I'm still trapped in the United Kingdom, uh, which is which is mildly depressing, but it does actually really help draw you in. It makes you feel like there's you know it's actually raining outside and there's actually windows to the side of you which you know are, are acting like windows with raindrops on them, and it's it's really nice and really gives it that sort of damp, Blade Runner futuristic feel to it, somewhat depressing, British feel to it which just, just makes uh, makes it feel just like reality, so extra immersion there. But the cockpit itself is fantastically detailed, and the individual dials showing your speed, your angles and stuff, really fit in nicely with the theme of the rest of the demo. You've got a uh, wireframe model for the angle that your, your vehicle's currently at, and that's in 3D, moving into the dashboard, and it's pretty much how I would imagine a, a dashboard would likely be done in the future if the future was to be a, a Blade Runner type future. You've also got a, a really nice kind of wireframe rear view TV screen like a, a GTE race car which is really handy so you can tell when someone's about to drive into the back of you and um, all the other details that you would possibly need if you were to actually have a hover car in the future. Now, strangely, the cockpit is actually quite spacious, which you might think would be off-putting or, or just feel, feel a bit weird. And it does feel in some ways as if you are driving a garden shed uh, uh, or hovering a garden shed around a futuristic city. But it, it works at the same time. You, you can imagine, again, that why, why make it really tiny? Why, why not have a more spacious cabin to sit in if it's something you're going to spend time in as a, as a mode of transport in the future? But... What's really nice is as you fly past the buildings, because this is set at, at sort of dusk night time, or, or maybe it's just post-nuclear apocalypse and this is just a nuclear fallout, but because it's set in the dark, as you go past different lights, uh, street lights or buildings that are lit up, the lights light up the uh, the cockpit with, the, with it casting the shadows from the exterior of the cockpit on the internal part of it. Again, just really makes it feel tangible and, and looks absolutely fantastic in VR. Outside of the fantastically done cockpit details, the city itself is extraordinary. Probably going to use that word too many times, but, you know, it captures that Blade Runner feel with it with the light with the lights on the buildings there's no chimneys with flames coming out of them though but in terms of the actual flashing lights on the tops of the buildings the highlighted windows the uh, advertising boards and the neon light just captures the feel perfectly and it doesn't go too far in that uh, manga manga to sci-fi tokyo look where it's you know where it's uh, anime characters and everything's glowing it's not too over the top it's actually reasonably believable where you, where there's you know it's not just Times square on every single building there's there's appropriate advertising i think that actually makes it a lot more immersive than if they went full-on manga uh, holographic boards everywhere that you tend to find in a lot of sci-fi stuff so it, it maintains that kind of gritty visual feel to it which uh, i think the original Blade Runner film actually captured better than what you tend to find in, in modern sci-fi films that go for this kind of look. All in all, the, the graphics are just mind-bogglingly impressive and super, again, super immersive. 
thanks to the the technical execution the artwork and also uh, the unreal engine surprisingly been able to do a city like this and actually have it run at a really good frame rate and this this runs perfectly even with the graphics whacked up i don't think you'd even need a particularly high-end system to actually have it run at a decent frame rate while still looking pretty damn spectacular but uh, all this begs the question what is giant form actually working on this is obviously just a free demo they've put out to sort of uh, showboat that they are indeed capable of having something visually and the, the flying in this is actually quite pleasurable uh, have something very polished but uh, where's the gameplay what are they actually working on and uh, the, the immediate thing my mind jumps to is uh why don't we have a G police in virtual reality? This is this is the foundation for G police. The physics seem fine. The city is more than fine. Absolutely beyond fine. Just uh, the G police missions, some nice rockets, some uh, pesky enemies, and some objectives, and you've got something that, to me, would be uh, fantastic as as a VR game. So we're going to have to keep our eyes glued to uh giant forms work and what they're doing i hope this isn't just some kind of media promo with the intention that they want to do stuff to promote films coming out and uh, just graphical stuff it, it would be a real shame to not have something like this put into action with with some nice gameplay but uh you know we'll have to hold our fingers fingers crossed and see what happens to keep up to date you'll, you'll just have to go to uh, giantform.com and see what they're working on now we're just we're just going to fly a little bit higher and then have a look at the city from from above. I was really surprised, actually, how you could fly really high, since we're at 10,000 foot, and uh, you can see the edges of the environment, and you can see how they've done the lower detail mesh and lower detail cities into the distance. Uh, you can see the quality go down this distance, but it actually still looks pretty, pretty decent, despite somewhat taking the piss of where we're flying our vehicle to what was actually designed for you to actually generally fly around in the game. But there you go. I, I definitely think this is a, a really fantastic experience. Super immersive, surprisingly comfortable. I think because the cockpit is quite large around you and does envelop you quite a bit, it does keep you grounded. Though when you start doing loop the loops and rolls and, and joyriding around the city, that you do feel it a bit in your stomach. So if you're sensitive to motion sickness, you might have some issues with that. But in general, really nice and it's free. You can't complain. Uh, absolutely fantastic free experience. So uh, if you haven't yet, download it. It's on Oculus Home. Or you can also just go to the Giant Form website to check the details. But um, yes, good job, Giant Form. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do. I hope uh, you guys found this interesting. Let me know in the comments what you want to see more of on the channel in terms of VR content. We'll have more VR videos out and more racing videos out very soon. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you were titillated and excited by this. Likey dislikey, and until the next one, thanks for watching, and goodbye everybody.